impressed as the son of his father, Bishop Fulton J. Sheen, but <laughs> he's also been able to carve out an evangelical niche of his own, preaching to the masses about the ills of a heavily journalistic society. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Charlie Sheen. Charlie. Good to see you, Ben. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Charlie, I have to Thank tell you, you. nice you. to have you here. It's I know you're in a to car wreck tonight. You okay, Ben? Yeah, I'm all right. I was a limo, so I had room to, uh, you know, bounce around. <laughs> <sighs> I have to tell you, your interview in Movie Line magazine was the funniest thing I've read since Mark Twain's essay on the literary offenses of James Fenimore <laughs> Cooper. And uh, I was going to call you afterwards and offer you a job writing, but I knew you were knocking off six larger film, and I didn't think the Writers Guild dental plan would mean that much to no, you. But, probably uh, not. Probably not. <laughs> Do you think your candor, and I find you to be the most refreshingly candid guy in this town, Thank you. hurts you Thank or you. helps you in what is essentially a small-minded company town like Hollywood? Is I it? have no fucking idea. No? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I just, I, I had to get the first fuck out of the way. All right, go ahead. But my mom's watching, so I gotta be, you know, I gotta bring it down. <laughs> but handing out blowjobs like Madonna at the NBA All-Star Game, I'm sorry, it's the most brilliant thing I've heard in well, the last she 24 flood, minutes. Yeah. How about it? You know, she's always telling it? me, I just want you to be kind of unknowing about my sexual ambiguity. Okay, I've gone with it, baby. You blow people at the All-Star Game. All right, uh... <laughs> Which I was invited to. <laughs> what, um... Sorry. God, I... I, I keep forgetting we're live. Um... <laughs> no, I... I was um, asking about being candid. You yeah, think it's, no, I just, um... The, the thing is, is I, uh... I was always that way before I became recognizable or a term that I hate, a celebrity, mm -hmm. somebody who's what, celebrated in some capacity? I don't know what. Um, I mean, I want to smoke. I want to smoke, you know? Pete Wilson, just light one up right now, live. <laughs> what do you think? Did you say Pete Wilson? You want, are you saying you want to light up a Mexican person right now? Or what are you saying? No, I want to I wanna have, have a cigarette. Oh, go ahead. I want to yeah. have a cigarette. And you sure. know what? I'll pay the $500. Are you not allowed to smoke on TV? Because <laughs> I had no I idea. I don't do live often. Dive into no, it, man. Wait a minute. So I'm getting a reverb here in my own chair. What's happening? You okay? No. Ah, it's this speaker right here. It's this speaker right here. Call Emilio. Charlie's having a breakdown. Uh, <laughs> no. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, uh, he's the last guy I'm going to call during a breakdown. Because Emilio wouldn't be there. He's for always you? off snowboarding with crews or something. I don't know what, you know. <laughs> but uh, no, but yeah, but you know what, Dennis? That uh, sorry, that uh, snowboarding with crews. That's the uh, coolest thank thing you. I've ever thank heard. Thank you. Um, but I'm standing back there. I'm listening to the rant, you yes. know, which is just nothing shy of genius. Right. And uh, and I'm thinking he's saying everything that I thought about saying, and it's already kind of it's been done. It's it's out there. I, I just yeah, but I, I thought you had balls. I've read letters that you've written to critics, and at some point, uh, it, why, why are people, I guess it's an unspoken rule that people in the business are afraid to take shots back at these people because then they have the final word in print and they fuck with your ability to earn a living. Is that the thinking behind it, I guess? Well, it's like my pop told me early on, here I go flashing back, is that uh, he said, Charles, keep in mind that, um, you know, they need us. Without us, they don't have a job. We don't need them to have a job, you know. Yeah, well, you... <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Uh, I don't want to look too uh, defensive about this because I've done some things in my life that I thought weren't that good, right. and I got ripped for them. And are you of that thinking, too? You can take that yeah. sort of stuff, that right? That would be me, yeah. What I just felt, especially with that movie line deal, is, uh, is I felt that I, I, I had, a, uh, had a forum to finally voice, you know, verbalize things that everybody was thinking mm -hmm. and, and, and nobody wanted to say, you know? And I just said, well, hell, man, this is, this is what I believe. And if you're going to print it, it's this guy, Steve Rubello, who's known for getting these interviews and I'm known for giving them. We, we got together. It was like, yeah. that's where you come in with a great 
analogy? Rebello owns Studio 54 with Ian Shrigero. There you go. All oh, right. <laughs> right. But, um... <laughs> We Steve like Rebell and Schrager. <laughs> okay. But, uh, uh, and it was just, it was insane. And I just, I just felt like uh, well, it telling, it. It was so out telling there. how it was, you know. We've got a phone call, line one, v uh, Veronica from yeah. Louisville, Kentucky. Veronica? Hi, how are you? Good, how you doing? Great, thanks. Um, I wanted to ask both we of you, no how do critics affect both, um, well, Charlie's acting and your ranting? Nice and do either of you take it personally? Um... You know what, from my side of it, I would tell you that <laughs> we spare no expense here. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and, uh, Thank you. Thank you, we, uh, <laughs> you know, you got to take critics. <laughs> Sorry. Critics hurt uh, when they kill you, don't they? I try to always act like I'm together, but when you read somebody ripping your new asshole in print, it hurts me. Oh, I don't it know about you. It pisses me off, yeah. man. But it isn't just about the work, it's about the personal shots. Like for the review, there's a piece of shit named Ralph Novak. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was told not to mention any names, Janet Charlton. But, um, <laughs> but this, this fucking guy, Ralph Novak, um, he's. It's not just about my work, it's about, like, you know, he says, isn't it interesting how in Shots 1 that Charlie Sheen, uh, above Valeria Golino, got credit for his own personal makeup person when she looked a lot prettier than he did? What the fuck? She's a girl and she's Italian <laughs> and she's sexy. Come on. You know? <laughs> so, so you bump into Ralph Novak tonight. You're over at Tana's getting a little al dente if pasta. There's, if, if there's no witnesses, yeah. we throw. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good. I'm not a violent guy. But you throw. I'm not a violent guy. We throw. You were in the tunnels in Platoon. Fuck it. You don't care. I don't care, man. I don't care. You know? Um, well, listen, man. You st stay after. I gotta, I gotta do the news now, and then we'll talk a little more afterwards, because I like talking else you to you. Ask huh? I'm, you know, if there's anything else, let's go. We right only here. got, like, 27 minutes, so I, I gotta, like, do the news thing All here. Right. You want to hang out and watch I'll it? I'll hang out. I'll be I'll right back. Out. We're right. gonna... Charlie Sheen, folks, give him a hand. We'll be...